Yarn is a Second Language. It's me, Nikki, and I wanted to show you the product of our dyeing experiment the other day. If you recall, we used Wilton's Teal and Wilton's Golden Yellow to dye this um, 75 grams of the Patton's Wool Worsted Yarn. And we can see we've got it turned out so good. I'm so excited. We've got a lot of the darker blues and teals and a lot of the yellows and I wanted to leave some of the white to represent the sky and the clouds. There's a lighter blue. It turned out exactly as I hoped and I was so excited to share that with you and I got a lot of questions about it and a lot of people saying oh I could never do that or saying I want to try this and I wanted to just show you what we produced from a little bit of dye, a little bit of vinegar, some heat, and some imagination. And this perfectly represents the kind of pictures I would draw as a child. And thank you so much for so many people shared some of their childhood crafting memories with me. That was beautiful, thank you. And I also wanted to show you some of my other um, dyeing experiments. This turned out great. I am so in love with this. I think it's going to be a hat because it's still kind of cool here in East Tennessee. And I want it to maybe craft a little bit of sunshine and springtime into my life. But it doesn't have to be um, just a couple of colors. I dyed this yarn with some food coloring I had in my cabinet. I think this was generic food coloring from Kroger or something. So I've got blues and greens and purples and reds and oranges and things like that. I love dyeing self-striping rainbows. So I'm, I'm going to knit this up. I dyed another rainbow that's not so um, kind of in your face. I dyed this rainbow. This rainbow is on what is it? Woolies. And since Woolies, Woolies Sparkle, you can see it's sparkly. Woolies Sparkle um, only has about 20% wool in it. So it took the dye very differently. We still got some pinks and peaches and yellows. And there might be a little green here. But you can see that is so cool with just a little bit of dye. And I did use quite a bit less than this one because I knew the dye wouldn't take um, colors so, so well with only 20% wool. But there's my sparkly rainbow. And of course, if you watched our sock challenge, these are my socks. These are all dyed with Wilton's gel icing or food coloring. So it is such an easy process and so satisfying to get vibrant, beautiful colors out of a little bit of dye. This was a coppery kind of yellow. This one was Wilton's Violet, which Kim Knits, Rebecca from Kim Knits has done a whole lot of beautiful work with the Wilton's Violet. And this was just a hodgepodge of yarn that I didn't, I mean dye that I didn't want to not use up. So I hope you get inspired to maybe give it a try, try out some things. Um, it's just yarn and you can always use it over dye it. Do what you want with it. But thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for the nice comments. Thank you so much for the nice memories you shared with me. And I hope we get to dye some yarn together again soon. Bye!